This will be part five to the Illuminati card game series, and I do apologize for getting behind in videos. I try my best to upload once a day, but of course, when you're doing things like this and we're exposing truth, you can always, always, always expect demon activity because we wrestle not against flesh and blood. But it's interesting that I even bring that up because what does this card show you? Flesh eating bacteria. And this card even proves to you and exposes what the CDC, what does it say? Disaster. This is an attack to destroy any place. It does not require an action. Its power is 20. This is not an instant attack. Any science group can aid the target place. The CDC or Center for Disease Control has triple power to aid the target place and I know I talked about the CDC in another um, series I forget which one but moving on it says if the attack succeeds the target is devastated if the die roll succeeds by more than eight the target is destroyed and this card returns to the hand of the fiend who played it now why is this so interesting is this what they're getting ready for a flesh eating bacteria is this how they're going to prepare for the new world order and are they going to use the cdc in order to do it because that's what it's looking like not only that but we know for a fact that the cdc and the who and all the other alphabet soups they're behind what they're behind all of these so-called diseases and so-called drugs and so-called poisoning and all these different pandemics they're the ones behind it they're the ones conducting it they're the ones doing it and they're even telling us that they're doing it but hopefully we see the agenda and just what's going on and just what time it is remember what is the goal of the new world order anarchy that is what they want that is what they're triggering through these race wars and race riots and of course through the military police state because it says up against the wall that is how they gain what control world control through the police state and we even saw that with the so-called brussels attack now you're starting to see police and military all over the place i wonder why that is i wonder what they're getting ready for i wonder just what they're about to do next now i thought this card was interesting because it shows you elvis and it says it was him it was him Elvis has left the building. I thought it was very interesting and suspicious. And look what it sells. Elvis has the power to distract any media group by making a brief public appearance. By using his action, Elvis can cancel any action taken by any media group. Elvis has also has plus six for direct control of the Church of Elvis. Wow, you can really honestly replace these celebrities with like, say, Beyonce or maybe even Kanye West or maybe even any other celebrity or musician. Wow, very interesting and suspicious indeed. And even our favorite, Michael Jackson. Why? Because they're trying to distract you any way they can. Why do you think musicians get paid millions and millions, if not billions of dollars, while the others who actually save lives only get paid into the thousands, if not tens of thousands? Because there is an agenda with everything. World control. If they can distract your mind long enough with mind control and keep you focused on things that really don't matter, then that's what they will do. Why? Because of mind control. But now that you're awoke, you're not going to fall for any of their schemes. But what is a new world order without monopoly? You always need monopoly, don't you? You always need it. Not only that, but it's funny because what monopoly dollars is the same as worth as regular dollars. If more people actually knew that and woke up to that and saw that we're literally slaving for pieces of paper and that debt is just completely made up out of the blue, then people would see just how wicked the bankers are. Then people would know, okay, they have been duped. And people would want to make a change for that because the monopoly is about to melt soon enough. It's only a matter of time. But the more we awaken, the more we share the truth with others, then will we see just what time it is. Then will the whole system come tumbling down. Oh, but this card is the most telling. And I know the words are hard to read, but it says don't spend it all in one place. Because what is this card showing you? A so-called alien with other nations giving their hands out for 
foreign aid from who not aliens but who's disguised as these aliens the fallen angels who are working with governments underground even as we speak but they can't tell you that because that information is classified isn't it i'm telling you this goes much deeper than you think and what is this really showing you this is showing you what what's about to take place is that these alien these fallen angels who are going to disguise themselves as aliens are going to come to the earth and they're going to say which they're already here they're just going to finally show themselves and say oh we come from other planets that don't really exist and we're here to help you we come in peace and we're going to give you all this stuff we're going to give you technology and all this stuff who do you think is behind this who do you think that is i'm going to let you figure that out on your own but let's not forget about the alphabet suits because they are really important as well but this card says the cia gets a plus four bonus rather than the normal minus four penalty to destroy any other government group when the cia attempts to destroy a personality it may choose to make it an assassination the attack becomes instant and if it succeeds the target is dead you mean to tell me that the CIA, this card even admits the CIA, they are what, paid agents to assassinate others? Is that what this card is admitting? Is it also admitting drug trafficking, human trafficking, sex trafficking, and all other horrid crimes? Is this literally what this card is admitting? Because it seems like it, but we still think they're protecting us at least the ones of us who are asleep still do now this card is very interesting too because what does it say the epa and it says we need to see your environmental impact form your formal environmental pact your impact and environment formula all 23 copies please oh look this one is in blue ink you'll have to start over as long as there is a token on the epa the nuclear power companies cannot use their special ability what special ability is there like to poison us even more because what is the epa is responsible for another alphabet soup that does what crime under the table throughout these nuclear power plants and all that other stuff not only that but you see the number 23 here don't you and other cards and videos that i've shown on this i've pointed out the number 23 very interesting and suspicious indeed not to mention that there's an owl here where well an owl in satanic religion and mystery babylonian religion represents molech remember the bohemian grove wow it's all starting to make sense and add up isn't it at least i hope it is but we can't forget our favorite, which is the FBI. And it even says, has plus 10 to directly destroy a criminal group, gives plus 4 on any attempt to destroy a criminal group, or plus 2 on any attempt to control a criminal group. What does that sound like? Organized crime, the Jewish cartel. That's exactly what that's talking about. That's exactly what that's referring to. And why is this card so important? Because just like all the other alphabet soups, what are they really responsible for? Are they responsible for planning all these other events like the 9-11 false flags and Sandy hoaxes? Are they the ones responsible for doing all this? I wonder why, and I wonder if they are, what could they be doing it for? What is the real agenda here? Just what are they getting ready for? But we can't forget about the IRS. Oh, everyone's favorite. Everyone loves the IRS. And it even says criminal on it. Because what? We don't even need to be paying taxes according to the Constitution. Oh, but that was thrown out a long time ago. Even before Obama even came to office. Even before it was signed. Because last I checked, America was founded as a free Masonic nation. Because more than half of your presidents are and were, in fact, Freemasons. So therefore, it's no surprise that they would let the IRS go on because why taxes to keep you enslaved to the system known as the Corporation of America? That is exactly what this is talking about. And if they can keep you enslaved to paper dollars that are really worth nothing, well, then that's what they're going to do because they want you to be enslaved to the system. According to them, you are goyim or cattle. You can look that up. That's not according to me. That is according to the system itself. But but this is showing you the IRS, which is a very fraudulent organization, along with the Federal Reserve. Oh, but they've been telling us everything in their in their cards, haven't they? It's no longer a joke, is it? Now this card is hard to see, but it says NATO gives plus four to any attempt to control any nation and can interfere in any attack made by or against a nation. Its power counts triple when giving relief. And it says uh, violent on it. As you can see, what is this showing you? The puppets uh, who are working for NATO. Because if you really think that NATO is protecting us, NATO is really doing a good thing. 
I suggest you think again and really wake up because NATO is what? That is the organization that what? Helps fund war along with the UN and all the other alphabet soups because what? They're trying to give you the illusion of false peace when they're the ones perpetrating war itself. And that's exactly what they do because anytime America gets involved with anything, oh, and there's going to be trouble. But it's the same for NATO as well, as well as all these other alphabet soups. But they have to keep you under the trance and make you think that it's, oh, it's for world peace. Oh, we're doing a good thing. Oh, we're fighting off terrorists. Are we really? Or are we not fighting them off at all? Like I said, you all better wake up now if you're not already awoke because I'm telling you this goes much deeper than you think. But this card says what? NSA. And I've done plenty of reports on this organization. But I don't even need to do these re reports because this card even tells you what the NSA is all about. No such agency. It doesn't exist. Just ask them. Because what is this card talking about and showing you? Spying. Why do you think this man is here holding those ear phones or wearing them and spying on this couple they, they spy on everything you do you want to know why your tv always has that red light on right next to it you want to know why your radio has that red light on next to it you want to know why that red light never goes off because they're spying on you yes your tv is watching you and even samsung and even even other companies have even admitted to spying or using your words to third-party organizations where do you think these third-party organizations are and just who do you think they are because like i said they're telling us they've been planning this even before the big screen tvs and everything else came out and as well as these so-called updates with these apps and computers they know exactly what they're doing the question is do you this card was very interesting because it shows and says opec or the oil company or the company that's responsible for oil with 13 other nations now why this card is so important you may be wondering is because it's showing you well who's in control of the oil because i just even looked at a cnn document recently that even said that what opec is dead because who's really in control of the oil why do you think they're going to war in the middle east to begin with for the oil for world control and world domination so i just thought it was interesting to see just the agenda and just really who's behind this because they've already told us who's behind all this but the question is are we awoke to really see just what they're doing i thought this card was interesting because it shows you anti-war activists and it says gives all groups in your power structure an extra plus four resistance against any attack made by or aided by a government group attacks made by or aided by a government group as in the government funding all this stuff to begin with oh you bet because the card even tells us that not only that but as you can see this little red bracelet right here reminds me of of the Kabbalah as well as the false peace symbol as well as all the different colors of the new age movement because what a lot of these activists or so-called activists through the Black Lives Matter and all that they're all funded by George Soros and the other elitists to start and trigger these race wars and these race riots that's all they're there for and to spread the illusion of false peace and false hope to make you think that oh yeah if I go out and riot with all of them and if I go out my voice to really count and make a difference not to the new world order it won't at least not yet at least not for now when you understand the agenda then you understand just what's going on and just what time it is because this one is showing you what barcodes and it even says they're on everything price tags airline baggage the backs of highway signs you can't read them oh but someone can i wonder who that someone is could they be potentially using barcodes to spy on us even more oh you bet but is that all they're for like i said beware everything they tell you beware everything you hear because there are illuminati agents in place only to fool you or even worse to give you half truth but not all of it because what is this car showing you agent in place and like i said nothing is ever what you think it is because it shows you what what with the mustard container but it's not really a mustard container just like some of the trees that you see outside are they really trees or are they really what radio frequency devices and in order to control your nerves and to control you because that is exactly what some of them are remember not everything is what it seems
Remember, what's the goal of the New World Order? Antitrust legislation. And this card says, when this card is played, each player may move his groups before it goes into effect that the cost of discarding one plot card for each move or three plot cards for a complete reorganization. These discards may come from hand or deck. While this NWO is in effect, corporate groups which control or are controlled by other corporate groups lose their action tokens and cannot get new ones or use their special abilities. This card replaces any yellow NWO card in play. And what is it showing? A hammer that's destroying the city, just like these so-called laws and legislations that are destroying the people and the hearts of people and keeping them enslaved to the New World Order. Wow, is that what that symbolizes? Possibly. Oh, but this card is probably my favorite, and it says blinded by science, because if you still continue to believe everything NASA tells you, then you're just being blinded by science, or should I say pseudoscience, because it even says, if we knew what we were doing, it wouldn't be research, because guess what, they know exactly what they're doing, and I'm telling you this, it's not real science, but please, keep on believing NASA all you want, keep on believing the comments, keep on believing everything they're telling you, because I'm telling you, when real deception starts coming, when the so-called aliens come and, and NASA tells you that, oh my gosh, they're coming from other planets, oh my goodness, look over there, here comes a meteor coming, you're going to believe every word they tell you unless you wake up now and see the goal for what it really is. Still don't think you're being spied on? Oh, think again, because this card shows you what? Cable TV, 500 channels, and nothing's on? Now, mind you, these cards were made in the 80s and the 90s. How did they know there'd be over 500 channels when TVs had just been a, a rarity? Cable had just been brand new at the time. There were hardly any channels out back then. We really don't start seeing all these channels until more recently. How did they know that? Were they planning it all ahead of time and staging it all ahead of time? And look at how one person is looking at all these TV screens, kind of like spying, just like the NSA. You all better seriously wake up and see this if you already don't, because I'm telling you, there's a more nefarious agenda with all of this. And what is that agenda, you may be wondering? The New World Order, the Satanic Kingdom, because this card shows you what? Church of Violentology. Wow, kind of rhymes with Scientology, doesn't it? But it says it's only a game, damn it, and we don't want to see any snakes in our mailbox, okay? Any church which par participates in the destruction of the church may draw a plot card. What is this really showing you? I'm telling you, you all better seriously wake up because what is this really revealing to you? That some of these churches aren't really holy. If you knew what goes on behind closed doors in some of these churches, even on Saturday nights and even Friday nights, oh my gosh, you would be taken for a loop because even the synagogues of Satan can tell you all about what they do behind closed doors. And I'm talking about the elite, of course, because I'm letting you know this goes much deeper than you think but yes certain churches and organizations are involved with blood sacrifices demonic sacrifices demonic rituals and other disgusting things that really should not be seen that's why they keep it behind closed doors not for long at least because they're going to start showing you just exactly what they do and who they really are but nothing is ever complete unless you have your security because that's exactly what they're making sure you have they want you to be safe and secure that's the real goal isn't it or is it not? Because I'm telling you, this goes much deeper than you think. What is that really showing you? Spying on a whole new level. But how deep does the rabbit hole go? But watch out, because there could be a computer virus coming soon, or even a bank virus as well. Either way, it's going to knock out all the data, won't it? Or have they been planning this to begin with? Because they've even been telling us this stuff long, long ago. And we see exactly just what they're about to do. Now, this card is very interesting because it says copy shops. Oh, but I'm telling you, this goes deeper than you think because where are the real copy shops? It's showing you the three of the same person. 
cloning and cloning centers. They can create five of the same person even if they wanted to. I know that may sound crazy. I know that may sound hard to believe, but I'm telling you cloning does exist. The cloning centers are real and this card even shows you that that's the copy shops that they're talking about because what can they do? They can du duplicate you, but you're going to be soulless and I'm telling you that's just what they can do. That and other disgusting things. You can watch my clone videos for more if you already haven't but I'm showing you this to show you that they've even told us about what they're doing and who they're even working with in order to get these things and nefarious actions done why because of the new world order the satanic kingdom which is even at the door this has been going on since the days of Noah it's nothing new 5,000 years and nothing has changed everything remains the same doesn't it oh but not for long but you can't have a new world order without a dictatorship because it even says the target is now a dictatorship. If it gets plus two power, it becomes violent. If it was not already link this card to the nation, you mean the United Nation? What is this really talking about? If you don't think that America and all these other nations are forming into a dictatorship or are already a dictatorship, I suggest you really think again because they're even showing us that they are. History repeats itself. Mao Zedong, Hitler, Stalin, FDR all over again. Nothing new under the sun. Just look at Angela Merkel and, that's, and Obama too. And that's all I'm going to say about that issue. Don't touch that dial, though, because be careful. There may be demons infiltrating your head, and if you don't believe they're real, well, maybe you'll believe this card because it even shows you mind control and what the TV and the idiot box is really doing to your mind because, as you can see, there are what appear to be little red demons attacking this person's head, and this person doesn't even know it because they're under hypnosis. Mind control, that is what this is about, and like I said, you all need to seriously, if you're already not, Please wake up to this stuff because it's real serious stuff. What is this card really showing you? If you look at it closely and more carefully, it shows you Suicide Squad. And it says can be used to destroy any resource belonging to a rival. May be used at any time except during a privileged attack. And it tells you what you can do with the target and the Suicide Squad. Why is this card so important? Because what is war really? War isn't about protecting anyone. It's not about protecting the American people so-called it's about protecting the three percent bankers because we have no legitimate basis to be going to war except through pre-plan false flags and other hoaxes in order to justify these so-called wars just look at the gulf of tonkin and you'll see what i'm talking about did fdr know about pearl harbor before it even happened oh of course he did but he allowed it to happen anyway why to go to war and justify it because I'm telling you, that is what they must do. And even the people on the top, the elite, they fund both sides of the war. Look up Henry Ford and, and look up the tanks and you'll see that there's some real similarities there. I'm telling you, this goes much deeper than you think. But when you know who's funding both sides, then you'll see who's funding ISIS and where ISIS is even really coming from and just what time it is because they're showing us. But I hope we're paying attention now. Now this card is very interesting and telling, isn't it? It says, New World Order, End of the World. The end of the world is at hand. The millennium is coming real soon now. Repent. Repent. Because that's exactly what's going on. You're hearing all about repenting, aren't you? Repent. Repent. It's the end of the world. It's the end of the world. They were staging all this to begin with. And by the way, it really is the end of the world, whether you want to believe that or not. That's act They're actually telling you truth. And they're actually telling you truth to repent and turn to Yahuwah because it's only going to get worse from here, isn't it? Oh, that's why we really need to repent indeed. And this card is even telling us to. But will we continue to live as if life is going to go on? But let's not forget our favorite, which is the Federal Reserve, because it says gives a plus six on any attack against any bank and a plus two on any attack against any nation or corporate group. Huh, very interesting indeed, because remember what I said earlier, the Federal Reserve is a fraud. It is a scam. It is a phony. 
like I said, they print fake money and give it to the banks and the government and charge us with interest so that we can continue to be slaves to the new world order. Not any longer because we know exactly what the agenda is and we know what time it is and we know that the system is going to come crumbling down. It all falls down. You know how the deception is real because it says, Ha, you have been deceived by a clever duplicate, but we have the real thing, don't they? Oh, because everything they show us, is it really deceitful and deceptive? Can we believe a word they tell us? Can we believe anything that the mainstream media tells us? They found this artifact and that artifact, haven't they? Or did they forge the entire thing and are keeping the real one hidden? Or when they tell us that, oh, this celebrity died and that celebrity died, did they really? Remember, what is the goal here? Fratricide. Remember that goal. Remember, defeat is worse than death because you have to live with defeat. Wow, kind of reminds me of Cain and Abel, killing brother, turning brother against brother. Divide and conquer roam all over again 2,000 years later, and nothing has changed whatsoever. Because remember, nothing new is under the sun. Now this card is the most telling because it shows what? Gang war and the influence and impact of gangs. And remember, a lot of these gangs that you see today are organized by the Jewish cartel to begin with and then perpetrated by a secret societies and organizations as well as the alphabet soups like the FBI and the CIA to go into urbanized neighborhoods to drug traffic and do other disgusting heinous crimes behind closed doors. They don't want you to know that, do they? Because what to keep people enslaved and incarcerated to the prisons, mostly in urbanized areas and neighborhoods. I wonder why that is. The final card I would like to show you today is Grim Lens. Now, like I said, there's just too many cards and I believe I have enough for part six and I still didn't even get to the ones I wanted to. But the reason I'm showing you Gremlins is because it says Gremlins do not exist or do they? I wonder where they come from. Modified by the fallen angels, you bet. Because what? The demons and the lizards and the parasites and other disgusting creatures that you're about to start seeing sooner than you think because we're closer to the end than you think. And even one of the cards even said end of the world, but hopefully we're paying attention now. Hopefully we're seeing the real agenda behind this and hopefully we are seeking Yahuwah and his true son, Yahusha, that we may be delivered from all this mess because it's only going to get worse from here. But please stay tuned for part 6 because I am going to be doing one and probably a part 7 as well, Yahuwah willing. But this is... Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video presentation. If you did, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like the video, and share it on your favorite social media sites. There's a lot more to come, so stay tuned and we'll see you back next time.